Oh hi everyone, how's it going? So I wanted to make a really quick video about how to make money with first aid. So the first thing you're probably going to want to get is an add-on called vendor price. Now what that does is it gives you more well, it gives you the sell price of a lot of different items in the game. Let's jump right into first aid. If you um, look at your first aid panel, okay, you now can see with vendor price, the price of a mage weave bandage, which is four silver, and then the cost um, that it sells to a vendor normally, which is two silver 50. Mage weave is funny because if you go for heavy mage weave, that's only worth six silver. If you're going to turn mage weave cloth into bandages to sell you really need to use the downgraded version because you will get significantly more money for that how does it work well you would go to the auction house okay and you would basically search for mage weave cloth any mage weave cloth which is below four silver you want to buy that okay and remember there's a difference between buying it with a bid and buying it with a buyout bids tend to be um less money but you may be outbid on certain items Anyway, as you guys can see, I've gone to the auction house today. It's about 6.30 server time. There was a very large amount of materials available. It's not actually worth turning all materials into bandages. The materials that you really want are silk, cloth, mage weave cloth, and occasionally rune cloth. One heavy rune cloth bandage is worth 10 silver. That means that you want to buy rune cloth at below 5 silver each to make a profit. Silk bandages are worth 2 silver. If you can buy silk cloth for below two silver, then you're in profit street. Now, I'm very lucky today because I've got a very large amount, which was all below two silver each, and it was significantly below two silver. I'm going to make a nice big profit on all of this. This is really good if you're watching a TV show in the background and you just want to hang around a city for a while when you want to make some money and you don't want to be out actively questing or running dungeons or running boosts. It's also worth looking on the auction house for food, which you can actually make a profit on. So, for example, this would be a good one to look for. Barbecued buzzard wing is worth three silver. The actual material itself is worth one silver 81. In other words, you can make about two silver profit if you want to get a load of them and process them. Hot spices are worth about 38 per hot spice. So you basically deduct the cost of the hot spice from the buzzard wing and that'll sort of give you the amount of money that you should be looking for on the auction house to buy this from. Mystery meat tends to be very, very profitable too. So I just also wanted to mention um, a really, really useful program to you guys called alwaysontop.exe. If you do want to watch Netflix and you want to run around and you want to grind, then resizing the window can kind of make it look ugly and you lose a lot of screen space. So what you can actually do is if you get something like always on top, you would press control and space whilst the active window is open. And this will mean that the window will stay open so that you can watch something and control the game at the same time. 